Hello, Novi. Nathan Mueller, Community Relations Manager here for the City of Novi. And I'm joined today by Sam Carmagno. He is the Municipal Affairs uh, Director for our friends at GFL. Uh, GFL seems to kind of be settling in a little bit, but we wanted to join you today to share some tips to help our friends, our partners at GFL, uh, make the, the process a little bit easier for, for them and make the process obviously more easier for you, the resident. So I guess, Sam, let's start a little bit initially here. We got a couple carts next to us. Cart placement, that's the initial part. How should people place their carts when they, when they put them out prior to 7 a.m. on trash day? Good morning, Nathan. The carts have to be separated by at least three feet, preferably both sides of the driveway for trash and recycle. We need to have uh, access for the trucks to be able to get to those carts, pick them up without any type of blockage, be it from a tree or a parked car or mailbox, fire plug. We need access, complete and open access. So that helps us uh, tremendously in getting the job done timely. Can you talk about that cart pickup process? You know, obviously some people think trash carts get put in the back and dumped in. Other times they're, you know, thrown into a front. Talk about GFL specific carts and how, and how you guys pick up the carts here. Each one, I'll talk about the trash. The trash is an automated collection. The truck has an apparatus on it that dumps the carts. The recycle truck also has an apparatus on it that dumps the carts. And your yard waste collection is all manual lift and, and toss in the back of a rear load truck. So. That's kind of the, the general specifics of how these things are collected. So let's talk recycling a little bit. Obviously here in Novi, we take a great deal of pride in recycling. We're one of the top, if not the top community in Rossock uh, for recycling. The, on the lids, we have that decal that shows what can and cannot go inside. But can you talk a little bit about recycling that is outside the cart, whether it be cardboard boxes, um, that type of stuff. Talk about that process for, for your team. There is a lot of cardboard these days, a lot of uh, recyclable material. The, the lid tells you what is acceptable, what is not acceptable. So get as much as you can in the cart. Uh, again, it's an automated collection piece. So what goes in the cart is what's going in the truck. What if it is outside the cart? If it's outside the cart, it's gonna go with the trash because that's a manual, it's more of a manual collection. Uh, based upon the type of trucks we're going to use here. Uh, if, the, if it's not in the recycle cart, it's going to have to go with the trash. With yard waste season, obviously here in, in Novi, our residents are, are really excited because we added a couple more weeks that really weren't there because the leaves fall when they fall here in Michigan. Um, but talk about yard waste as it pertains to how much, where we can set it out, how all that works for yard waste pickup. Yard waste you can set out uh, weekly on your service day. You can put it in craft paper bags or rigid containers up to 35 gallons and they need to be labeled if they're in rigid containers, put a yard waste decal on the side of it, of the can, and have that label face the street so our drivers can see that it's indeed a yard waste container. There's a container here that, uh, that is not labeled and there's no lid on the container. So it's very easy to miss something like that. The driver will drive right by knowing it, it, the container looks empty. You can't tell that it's got yard waste in it. So please label the containers and, and face the street with the label. Continuing with yard waste, branches, sticks, all that type of stuff. Can you talk about that? That's a question that we get quite a bit of, you know, I did some tree pruning uh, or I was cleaning up my yard after a storm. You know, what do I need to do with those branches to, to get rid of those? Branches should be either bundled in a manageable size or we can take that and throw that into the truck or they should be placed again in rigid containers, but not sticking way out of the containers. There's an example here where the container, where the uh, sticks are sticking way out of the container. That's a, that's a bad example of uh, compost preparation for collection. Sam, you've talked a lot today about the automated process, but you also have a lot of men and women who work in all weather conditions, you know, all hours of the day. Uh, can you talk just about their role into the success of, of GFL and, and what you guys do every day? Well, their role is, uh, is what makes us successful. It isn't an easy job, it's very difficult. We've got a beautiful day here, it's almost perfect. But there are days when it's snowing and raining and windy and cold and excessively hot. So our folks uh, are the key to being successful in this residential collection program. Well, thank you, Sam, for taking the time out and, and thank you to your team as well for all you've done here in the city of Novi. Things are, are going really well and, and we really appreciate the partnership and look forward to a long partnership. And, and Novi residents, thank you. Thank you for adhering to these guidelines, uh, helping GFL and us the best we can in order to continue to provide the great service that they've been providing.